Now here behind me, I've got this amazing Range Rover Westminster. 3 litre SDV6, 51,000 miles, or 2020 70 registration. I was selling these cars for nearly 70,000 pounds. Not so long ago, I'm talking 18 months ago. It just seems like awesome value for money. It's a lot of car. Yes, it's not the newest model out, but it is a facelift model, which means it has the facelift interior, media package, lighting to the front and back, and the body styling. To look at this car, it still looks like a 70,000 pound vehicle. It drives like a 70,000 pound vehicle. It's such a smooth, comfortable, beautiful looking car. The color is called Iger Grey, which is a nice light shade of gunmetal grey. Now on this particular metallic paint, I do believe the silver pops just about right. It looks good, because we do sell a lot of cars here with black styling packs, black wheels. Well, this one's not that type of vibe. This one has a nice, classy look about it. You still have got the beautiful features of the LED DRLs, which is daytime running lights, the full LED headlights, front rear parking sensors, and you have got the built-in headlight washers. This car then has the Westminster Special Edition 21-inch wheels, and they do look really good. That's diamond cut with a lovely dark grey on the inserts. Mud flaps front and rear, and you have got the fixed side steps. Them side steps are brilliant. Even though the car has got air suspension, so you can level it up and down, the side steps really help if you have little kids or elderly parents. That just makes it easy to get in and out. The Westminster also gives you soft closed doors because that wasn't a standard feature on the Range Rovers. You have got comfort access, which means if the keys are in your pocket, as you walk up to the car, it will unlock, and as you walk away, you press that, it locks up, and the wing mirrors fold in. Sun protection glass, which is the blacked out windows, double glazed windows, and this car has a full tilt and sliding panoramic roof. But then check out the interior. 51,000 miles on this car on a 70 registration with an awesome Windsor lever, which is nice and soft. But what I like about the Range Rovers is the seats are absolutely huge. And when they're nice and big like this, you have that lovely sort of comfortable seating position. Push button start, you've got a touchscreen media system with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, heated seats, dual zone climate control, the split dashboard just here with lots of space, um, handbooks and the lock and wheel nut. On the Westminster you also get this lovely suede feel to the roof lining which gives it that sort of autobiography effect. You've then got electric memory lumbar supported seats just there, Meridian sound system, and then you have the piano black. The extended lever on the dog card with a stitching just looks nice and luxury, it feels luxury. But like I said, it's a nice, just a comfortable car. Heated steering wheel, lane assist, cruise control, full digital driver zone, and the Westminster also gives you a refrigerator under the center armrest, which is pretty clever. And just a good thing to have really, pretty cans in there. Now in the back, the rear passengers, with it being a big car, they get so much space. So if I get in there and show you now, there's loads of leg room, head room, but there's, there's leather everywhere on the back of the seat, on the door cards again. These seats also do recline ever so slightly. This centre armrest comes down, which then gives you two more cup holders. And just, how nice That's is tremendous this buy? Because remember, they were double the price not so long ago. Well, on the back of the car, this car does have a detachable tow bar. You've got LED rear lighting system, signature split tailgate, and being the Range Rover, it means it's got a huge boot space. And that boot space is there for your weekend hobbies, if you're going away, suitcases, just kid stuff, push chairs, prams. I mean, it's amazing how quickly you can fill this space. That seat also does go down with a split of 60 and 40. That means you can have 60% down or 40% down or have the whole lot down. It's up to yourself. You press that button, that lifts up, that closes away. And as I've mentioned, you have got the detachable tow bar. If that's useful to you, then great. If you don't want to use it, you can unclip it, take it off, and it can go on the back of the boot for when you do want to use it. Bodywork is in fantastic condition. I'm not going to sugarcoat the conversation. The car has done 51,000 miles. Will there be some level of wear? Absolutely. You wouldn't expect it not to have some stone chips, a little bit of wear and tear because it has done 51,000 miles. But we are somewhat very particular in what we sell and how we sell it. And this one is, is no exception to, the, to what we do. Now in the driver's side, this is what we're looking at. Push button start, paddle shift. You've got that full digital display. There's a the reversing camera system there in high definition. I've already mentioned about the tilt and sliding sunroof, so you know you're getting that lovely airy feel and it's bringing loads of light in. Good sound to the engine because the 3.0-litre SDV6 is a good engine. Lasts for a long time, no problem. And then the car comes fully prepared. That means it comes with a full 12 months MOT. I do believe, if my memory serves me right, the car has been serviced of May this year, maybe about 5,000 miles ago. 
But what a car. Beautiful colour, beautiful specification, and very well looked after. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.